Hey guys, Destroyer, and before we get into this video, I just wanted to edit in a little clip. Today we hit 6,000 views, so I just wanted to thank you guys real fast. Thank you guys just so much for getting me this far. It's super awesome, and we're just cranking through the views. Hopefully we can hit 10K within a month or two. So thanks so much for that, and hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you guys later. See you guys. What's up guys, Destroyer here, and I'm going to bring you guys a new video. This is a new thing, I thought maybe I would do a series on this, depends on how you guys like this, and I thought it would be fun to do like high round zombies. So if you guys have seen my setup video for Shadows of Evil, this is actually the same game. I am not, I do not have my Perkaholic, I did lose it, very sad, in a very dumb way. I got stuck on Civil Protector, like this. But he picked me up at least, so I got my revive, oh yay, a bug round. And I thought it'd be fun just to do kind of like a series thing of me kind of high rounding. I'm not super high round right now. I thought I'd start it around 30 and see how far we can get. We'll see if it works out. See if I die in a very dumb way. But the perks I'm rocking right now are um, res, so it'll bring me back up if he doesn't. Then I got double tap because I'm not doing too much damage. Yeah, you just kill everybody. Then I have Widow's Wine. Which, when they hit me, they explode in the webs. And Juggernog, of course, if you don't know what Juggernog is, play video games. But the thing is, I do not have a, uh, what is it called? Um, the super gun for this map, the Apothecant Servant. Because I was rocking Mule Kick, and I had it as a third weapon, so I did lose it. And that is some random person sending me an invite. Let's see, you're still out here. I do have my swords and all that stuff from my setup video, so I have pretty much the entire setup, except I do not have the Apothecant, so we shall see how that will work. I should roll with the Ray Gun. I feel like that would be a good idea. And how did somebody activate my Widows? So yeah, let's get into it. I thought it would just be fun to do kind of like a high round thing. I'm not sure how high I'll actually get as I get stuck. Now I'm not really training, which I probably should be. But right now I'm just running around in the main area, so let's go down and train. Now, please give me, I don't even know, that 3,000 points? Very cool. Or not, bud. And of course you break my shield. Well, almost rip. That was very close. Maybe I shouldn't have used the ray gun. The splash damage seems to be destroying me. Let's go get my shield, though. Okay, round 31, not bad, got several out here, I'm going to activate my sword, boom, if you've never seen the Pack-a-Punch or Upgraded Sword, ah, Civil, there's no tier, let's activate him, they are all my helpers, they are what are keeping me alive, basically, let's grab this, so I got my sword floating around helping, then I got Civil, just running around killing things, excuse me, nice, Max ammo. that was quite the hop there too, so... I'm not going to be able to get Mule Kick again because I already have all four of my perks and I don't really want to use an Unquenchable or any other go Gobble Gums this game. So I'm just going to roll with this. I'm probably not actually going to go back and get the Super Gun. I know it can get you out of stuff really easy, but I thought it would just be fun to do a run almost week without it. Just using normal guns on like most runs. Wow. You guys got in here real quick. Meatballs. Okay. So I'm probably going to train just around here. I'll show you my route. Come on, guys. You can keep up. Blast burners? Blast burners? No? Spammer? Boo, boo, boo. So I'm just going to train around this, which is not working out too well. But I got all sorts of weird spawns right now. And I am using my shield. That's why I'm not getting hit from behind. If you have not noticed that already. And we'll see how far we can get. I thought it'd just be fun to do kind of like a series like this. I'll probably cut it around 10 minutes because I don't upload a super long video. Then I'll like do halves if I last that long. I'm not really sure. My records on Shadows of Evil is round 38, I think. So we'll see if we can beat that. I'm not sure because I don't have the Apothecant. Trying something new, seeing if it'll work out. And I'm not using an unquenchable either, so I don't have like everything, and I'm not super, super powerful. But I'm good enough, and I'm loving the shotgun right now. It's blowing through stuff. Round 32. Okay, let's get into it. Now, I don't have a civil down here to activate. 
Hmm. I don't really want to train down here. Let's go to the mid area. I'll just run around and shoot all the stuff. This is also kind of hard because I do not have game volume. So if you guys haven't seen my other video and you're wondering about the Eisen Draken and you're on Xbox like me, the Eisen Draken will not launch on Xbox for about another month from, I think, whenever you're watching this, a couple days ago from the launch date on PS4. And that's just because PS4 has all the exclusives. So, um, they're basically getting it first. I'm pretty sure if we will get it eventually in about a month unless they pay them a billion dollars and be like, Xbox no longer gets video games. Which I hope doesn't happen because I'm super hyped for that map. If you guys haven't seen it yet and don't really want to see it, I won't spoil too much. I don't want to give a bunch of stuff away. But it just looks like an amazing map with all sorts of new mechanics and stuff. And finally a new easter egg. I'm getting sick of doing the shadows one. Now I'm not doing the easter egg right now. I just thought I'd set up for high rounds. And no, let's get out of here. Um, just because, you know, you can't really complete it solo. So what's the point besides some max ammo is from the flag step. And I mean I could go grab the book and do the flags. But until I actually super need a max ammo. I hope I won't because I hate that I probably won't do it and if I need a max ammo I probably won't be able to finish it either way so a double points not bad hope is max ammo but that's alright now I really hope or I'm wondering if they could incorporate because right now you can't really double pack the ray gun which I mean I get it the ray guns already pretty powerful the AOE damage and all that oh I thought I had to knife him and I mean, I know it's already powerful, but I thought it'd be cool if you did like an Easter egg to pack it. Because then that would be just like a custom thing you could do specifically for the ray gun, which is a really amazing gun and custom to this Call of Duty Zombie series. Let's activate him up. So if you guys don't really know, there's a lot of different strats to high round. I actually don't train like most people. Like some people keep that gate closed, train back there. There's a training area over there, and then down below right now in the subway there's a good training area but I just like to run around this main area right by spawn because there's civil protector right there and I have each district if I need to go run and get my perks speaking speak of the devil civil protector just died should be able to finish this off never mind there it goes round 33 let's get into it so we're at seven minutes right now maybe I'll run to 15 minutes I don't really know probably not yeah, maybe. We'll see if in 15 minutes I can get to 35. We'll try and get to 35. Then we'll cut it to the next episode of this. And leave a comment down below. Would you guys like to see this as a zombie series? Because I've been playing a lot of zombies. I did my how to level quicker in zombies. Like the actual, not like a strat for it, but how it actually works. Because a lot of people thought you just killed. But it's, you level way faster by actually buying doors, buying Pack-a-Bunch, killing Margos. That's why I really like this map for leveling, like, I am level 32, Prestige 1, which isn't super high, but I haven't played Zombies until real recently. Okay, there's a lot there. So let's not get trapped here, cool. Let's get out of here. Now, not having the portal gun, or the, what is it called, Apothecan Symbiote, Symbio got it. Why, Treyarch? What's up with these names for all these Easter egg guns and stuff? It was so easy if it's just the death machine or something. But I'm probably not going to spin box. Not only I would have to give up a ray gun or the shotgun. I could give up the shotgun, but it cost a lot of points. It'd just be kind of annoying in general. I don't think I have a civil protector. So I'm going to swing it. Wait, do I? I do still. Hmm. Let's dodge all these guys and jump into the portal. So, I'm not really doing a strat video, I thought it'd just be fun to run around and have a live commentary so when I die you actually get my reaction, which I hopefully won't until 40. I want to get to around 40, because I haven't been playing zombies too long, especially on this map. So I thought that would be cool, and let's dodge all these people up. And me and my friends have actually done some runs without doing any of the easter egg, no pack-a-punch, and or anything basically. And we actually got to round 27, which for co-op is a pretty good round. Because you have the Super Marg around there, which isn't bad, but oh, that was very loud. Let's pause this. I'm not sure if you guys heard that. That scared me. Ugh, my computer warned me of low battery. That terrified me. Okay, let's plug that in. 
And we're back. Ta-da. Oh, hi, zombies. Don't kill me, please. That would be mean. Adjusting all my stuff. Don't kill me. Let's go see. Yeah, I want you. So I'm not doing this alone. So, I like to play solo just because you have the revive aspect. And then you don't have to find teammates that are actually good enough to get higher rounds. You can just do it yourself. But I don't really think it's actually that much harder. Because if you guys didn't know... On co-op or any multiplayer, you will get a lot of marbas. Like, I think you can get just tons and tons on the map the higher and higher rounds you get. But on solo, you will only get one marba round unless you're, like, doing pack swords or upgrading your, yeah, upgrading your swords. Because then you spawn in two margas or one marba. And that's, like, the max. You can only have three max on the map at one time. So it's not really too bad playing solo. Plus, you get revives, and you can carry all the worms at once, which isn't bad, and you get all the points, all the guns, all the cool stuff for yourself. So it's pretty fun playing solo, but 34, one more round, and we're at 1040. Not bad at all. Let's get into it. Hopefully, this is all turning out. We shall see. We are getting low on ammo, though, so got low in there. Not much at all on the ray gun. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's shoot all of them. Then, um, I don't know. Let me think. There should be a bug round, like, coming up here soon. Oh, this is bad. Excuse me, guys. I should always... That corner always gets me trapped right there. I want to hit that pod, but I think I'm going to get rushed a little bit too fast. So we shall see. I'll hopefully be able to just activate another civil and get my sword out. They'll end the round, then we'll finally get a bug round, or we could just get a max ammo, which would be even nicer. So, yeah, I'm out of there. Let's not go down. So I do have, I think this, no, after this one, I do have another quick revive, so if I do go down, I will have another chance, and I'll have another chance anyway, because this will get me up, and maybe Civil will pick me up. Let's get him up, and wait, I can never, now, now you go down. Okay, Civil. Thanks for waiting until the exact wrong moment. So let's activate my swords just to make this go a little bit quicker. They're very useful. Like, I used to not do swords thinking it wasn't, like, really useful, but I normally didn't pack a punch of them either or upgrade them, whichever one you want to call it. And, oh, no, let's get through there. That is the cool thing about the shotgun. Just bullet spam like crazy. And level 33. There we go. Two levels in one game. That is not bad. That is why I love playing Shadows. We are almost out of ammo. Dang. I mean, I can buy ammo for that shoddy, though. That is the cool part. Let's go do that. And then I'll probably get a bug round next round, but whatever. So the all another reason I like just being right here, because ammo. Ta-da. And once you get to higher rounds, points don't matter as much. Where's Civil? There he is. Thought he went down again. And then a good double, like, double tap perk once you double pack a punch your gun is Blast Furnace or Turn. I would recommend that on any gun you have just so you can get um, higher. Blast Furnace is better because it will not only kill a bunch of zombies, but it will um, give you the points too and the kills. And there it is, 1,039 kills. Let's pause right here. We'll get into this next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Hope you guys would like this as a series. Don't forget to comment down below if you like this. Leave a like if you want this as a series or just in general if you like the video. And I will see you guys later. See you guys.